Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Toy YouTube channel. Um, I'm coming at you today with another tutorial, another Pokemon tutorial as well. Um, and this time it's for Esper. So here is Esper. So yeah, if you're interested in finding out how to make this, then just keep watching. Um, the crochet I wouldn't say is particularly complicated in this pattern but there are a lot of little pieces to make because obviously there's like the little um, fur and spiky pieces uh, and there's a little bit of colour changing but you only need two colours of yarn for this grey and white which is quite nice um, and yeah there's a little bit of felt but um, quite simple shapes so if you don't really like working with felt then this is probably going to be a fairly easy pattern for you so don't worry about that. Um, and yeah, as always, the written pattern is available on my blog too for free, so if you just want to read that or if you want to have it open while you're watching this video, then feel free to do so. But otherwise, let's get into what you'll be needing for this tutorial. For this pattern, you'll be needing Aran weight yarn in the following colours, white and grey, or silver I suppose, this is more of a silvery grey. Um, then you will be needing some scissors, a yarn needle for sewing uh, the pieces together. You'll need your crochet hook. I've got a four millimeter crochet hook, which goes with my Aran weight yarn, but you can size up or size down if you're using a different weight of yarn. Um, I've got my stitch marker here. Um, this is optional, but you might want some pins for sewing things together. This is some embroidery thread. So you'll need some black embroidery thread for the uh, mouth and nose details. You'll need some felt in white, pink and purple for the eyes. You don't really need anywhere near as much as this, but um, I'm just showing you. You'll need some stuffing and uh, you'll need more than this. I'm just showing you uh, a small amount here just to uh, demonstrate. And then finally, you'll be needing some fabric glue uh, to glue down the felt eyes. So I'm using Fabri-Tac here, which I get from Amazon. So that's everything that you'll be needing for this uh, tutorial. We're going to start off by crocheting the legs. So grab your white yarn and you're going to want to do four single crochets in a magic circle uh, for round one. then just pull the tail like that to close up the hole so we've got our four single crochets now at the end of round one so for round two we're going to do a single crochet to start with so. and then we're going to do an increase And then we're going to repeat the pattern again, so another single crochet. And then another increase. I didn't quite get into all the loops of that one. Let's try that again. Cool. So now at the end of round two, you should have six single crochets all the way around. Then for round three, we're going to do two single crochets. And then an increase. And then two single crochets. And another increase. So now we're at the end of round three and we should have eight single crochets all the way around in our white colour. Um, so now we're going to change to grey. Um, you could do this using the standard uh, method of colour change, so I'll just quickly show you how you do that. So instead of um, pulling through in white for the last um, single crochet of round three, you would instead grab your grey yarn 
and you would pull through in this colour instead. And then you would just keep crocheting uh, in the grey colour. But if you want to do the fake single crochet method, which is what I'm going to do uh, this time, because I want to kind of uh, hide the colour change a little bit, then you're going to um, pull through in white instead of grey. You're going to cut your yarn, leaving a very short tail. You're going to pull the tail through like this, flip your work, skip the next single crochet and go into the one after that pull the tail through then go back to that final single crochet from round three and go into the front loop only from our perspective so just this loop here and then grab your tail again and pull this through and then just pull on it a little bit like that and then you'll see that if you look here, this is now a fake single crochet that we've created on top of the um, existing single crochet that was already there previously. So now all you need to do is just reattach your grey yarn into any stitch. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. So I'm actually going to reattach into the fake single crochet. You may need to pull on the white tail a little bit as you're crocheting uh, for round four, but that should be fine. So now you can see we've got our grey colour attached now. So now we're ready to crochet in grey. So for round four, we're just going to do a single crochet. And you may want to try and crochet over your white and grey tails just to secure those in there. So that's our single crochet and then we're going to do an increase and then you're just going to repeat that pattern three more times that'll get you all the way to the end of round four and you should have 12 single crochets at the end so just do single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase so i will meet you at the end of round four so I've reached the end of round four and I've got my 12 single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to snip the tails now because they kind of get in the way a little bit. So let's just get rid of all of these. Cool. So now for rounds five to six, you just simply need to single crochet all the way around in each of those 12 single crochets. Um, so I will meet you at the end of round six once you finish doing that. So I've just reached the end of round six um, and I've still got 12 single crochets all the way around. So that's actually it for the first leg. So we just need to cut our yarn now, leaving a short tail. We're not going to need to sew this or anything. Um, so yeah, don't worry too much about how long the tail is. So this is leg number one. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat all those steps once more. So everything I just did for rounds one to six. But this time, when you get to the end of round six, don't cut the yarn. Just leave the yarn on the tail. Uh, sorry, leave your yarn on the hook. That's what I meant to say. Because what we're going to do is we're going to join the two legs together uh, in round seven. So I will meet you when you have made another leg and left your yarn on your hook. So I've got my second leg here now and so we're going to do round seven and join the two legs together. So to start off with you're going to do six single crochets into this same leg and I am just going to mark the first stitch here because it can get a bit confusing remembering where you started the round so I'm just going to do that to make it clear. So that's the first single crochet and then I'm going to do five more so one, two, three, four, Five. This is the sixth one in total, so let's just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've done all of our six single crochets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three. So we're going to do one, two, three. 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to do 12 single crochets now around this leg and that will join the two legs together it doesn't particularly matter which single crochet that you join into but what I tend to do is I like to keep the tail part at the back and I like to make sure that I leave a couple of single crochets so that I can kind of crochet over the tail to secure it in so I'm going to pick this one to uh, start off in but it doesn't make a massive difference so just do whatever uh, is your favourite technique for this so I'm just going into this stitch and that's going to be my first single crochet of this uh, second leg here and I need to do all 12 so one two three to hold on to the tail a bit when you get to this point 10 then 11 so I'm crocheting over the tail and then 12 so now we've got our 12 single crochets into the second leg you just want to make sure that you have your um, other leg kind of not twisted at all like this so just make sure that it's um, looking like this when you start crocheting into the chain so now what we're going to do is we're going to do three single crochets into the back of the chain so I'm going to just uh, ignore the tail now because that's just going to get in the way so I'm going to do three single crochets into the chain so one two three so now we've done that so all we need to do now is just finish off uh, crocheting into the first into the second leg here sorry and we just need to do uh, six single crochets into this leg if you're not sure where to go to uh, next then what you might want to do is just count back from the stitch marker so count back one two three four five six so I know that this is going to be the next uh, single crochet that I need to crochet into so one two three four five six so that's it that's the end of round seven you can now see that we have the two legs joined together i'm going to cut this tail now to get rid of it um and yeah that is the end of round seven so you should have 30 single crochets at the end of round seven and that is counting the chain as um single crochets um so yeah so there's the chain that you did the free chain here and then the free single crochets you did into the back of it and then the 12 single crochets that you did into each of the legs so now for round eight i'm going to uh show you this one and then i'll probably talk you through the remaining a uh, few rounds of the body because uh it gets a bit repetitive uh, if i keep showing you it because it's not that complicated um so for round eight you're going to start off by doing an increase And I will mark the first single crochet again. So that's our increase. Then we're going to do 13 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then you're going to do two increases. So one, two, and then one, two, and then you're going to do another 13 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Ooh. and then you're just going to finish off with an increase. So that is the end of round eight and you should have 34 single crochets at the end of the round and you can see how we're going to start to uh, build up now and kind of create the uh, body shape here over the next few rounds. So I will just talk you through the next few rounds um, because, as I say, they're quite straightforward, to be honest. So for rounds nine to 12, so that's four rounds in total, you're just going to single crochet all the way around in each of the 34 single crochets. Then for round 13, you're going to do decrease 15 single crochets, decrease 15 single crochets, and that will get you down to 32 at the end of round 13. Then round 14, single crochet all the way around. Round 15, six single crochet decrease, and repeat that three more times to get you to 28 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 16 to 17, single crochet all the way around in each of those 28 single crochets. Round 18, five single crochet decrease. Repeat that three more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Rounds 19 to 20, single crochet all the way around. Round 21, four single crochet decrease. Repeat that three more times to get you to 20 single crochets at the end of the round. And then finally, round 22, three single crochet decrease. And repeat that three more times to get you to 16 single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at the end of round 22, as that will be the end of the body. And we'll then stuff the body and then uh, we'll finish off and move on to making the head. So I've reached the end of round 22 and I've stuffed the body firmly and this is what it's looking like. So the final thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the yarn. Uh, you don't need to worry about leaving a tail because you're not going to be um, sewing anything with this at all. So don't worry about um, leaving a long tail or anything like that. But I am just going to finish off with a fake single crochet just to make the finish a little bit neater. Um, you could just slip stitch into the next stitch if you want to, but I prefer to do the fake single crochet method. So I'm just going to show you that again. So we're going to skip this next single crochet and go into this one here. And then we're going to go back into that final single crochet from round 22 into the front loop only from our current perspective and pull that tail through. And now you can see that that just looks a little bit um, neater the way that we finished that off. So um, yeah, that is now the body and the legs and we're going to obviously sew the head to that once we've made the head. So now we're going to move on to making the head. So uh, grab your grey yarn and let's get started. So instead of starting with a magic circle, we're actually going to start by chaining uh, this time. So we are going to chain six to start with so one two three four five six and then what we're going to do is starting from the second chain from the hook we're going to do an increase i like to work into the back loops but you can work into these front loops if you want to it's up to you so i'm going to do my increase Then you're going to do four single crochets. Then you're going to start working into the other side of the chain and you're going to do an increase. And then you're going to do four single crochets. So now you should have 12 single crochets all the way around at the end of uh, round one. So I'll just prove that one, two, three, four, five, six. 
seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that is that the reason that we're starting off in this fashion rather than doing a magic circle is just because we want the head to have a slightly more oval shape to it rather than just being a complete um circle that you would get by doing um the magic circle method to start off with um but then the next uh, few rounds that we're going to do are basically the same as what you would do in a normal um uh sort of uh, circular head shape um, using standard increments of six increases per round so I'm just going to talk you through those because it's um, pretty standard crochet so for round two you're going to do a single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round Round three, two single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 24 single crochets. Round four, three single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 30 single crochets. Round five, four single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 36 single crochets. Round six, five single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 42 single crochets. Round seven, six single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 48 single crochets. Round eight, seven single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 54 single crochets so i'll meet you at the end of round eight when you should have 54 single crochets all the way around so i've just finished round eight and i've got my 54 single crochets all the way around so this is what it's looking like don't worry if um this bit looks a bit pointy at the top here when we stuff it you won't be able to notice that so um now for rounds nine to 18 we're just going to single crochet all the way around so that's 10 rounds of just single crocheting all the way around so i'll meet you at the end of round 18. So I've reached the end of round 18 and this is what it's looking like. So you can kind of see how their head is shaping up. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because um, we're just going to be doing some uh, decreases to get us down to 16 single crochets so that we're kind of matching the number of single crochets left um, at the neck on the body. So for round 19, you're going to do seven single crochets decrease and repeat that five more times to get you to 48 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 20, six single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you to 42 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 21, five single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you to 36 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 22, four single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 23, three single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. So I got to the end of round 23 and I have my 24 single crochets all the way around and all I've done is just added some stuffing at this point so you want to make sure that you add quite a lot of stuffing um, just to make sure that you stuff the head quite firmly and then for round 24 it's just a little bit different than the other rounds we've been doing so you're going to do single crochet decrease but this time you're going to repeat it seven more times and that's going to get you to 16 single crochets at the end of the round so that you're matching the number of single crochets that you had left um, for the body as well so I'll meet you at the end of round 24 as that's then when we're going to fasten off um, finish off with a fake single crochet and then sew to the body so I'm at the end of round 24 I've got my 16 single crochets all the way around um, and as I mentioned we're now going to finish off with a fake single crochet um, not completely necessary but just what I want to do. Um, I'm going to leave quite a long tail when I cut my yarn because we're going to be using this to sew to the body. I'm probably maybe uh, overdoing it in terms of how much tail I'm leaving but I always like to be on the safe side so I'm just going to cut my yarn here. I'm going to pull. Yeah I definitely left way too much but anyway. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to finish off with a fake single crochet, which I've already showed you a couple of times in this video. So I'm just going to do that again now. Okay, so we have our head now so I'm just gonna get the body um, and you're gonna kind of want to make sure that with the head you um, position it in such a way that 
obviously you can see here this is where we started round one so you're going to want to make sure that the kind of longer part of round one is um, facing outwards so that this is going to be the front of the head um, and then the sides are obviously over to the side but you can always unpick and um, start again on the sewing if you do make a mistake so don't worry too much it might take a couple of attempts to work out how exactly to position this uh, so that it looks best on the body so I'm just going to thread my yarn needle now I'm just grabbing the body and all I'm going to be doing is all the way around I'm just going to be doing whip stitches so I'm going to go into this one for example and match that up with one of these single crochets I'm going to pull through and then I'm going to go into the next one and do the same thing And I'm just going to keep going around like that until the head is fully sewn onto the body. And as I mentioned, if you're finding that your head sews on wonky, so for example, maybe it ends up looking like this and you don't like that, just unpick it and um, maybe scoot back a couple of single crochets on the neck and then you'll probably be able to get the um, right positioning. So I'm just going to sew round once and I'm going to show you what it's looking like after sewing round once. Now I'm going to decide whether I want to sew around again or if I'm happy that this is stable enough just sewing around once. I've just sewn the head around once and as you can see it is a little bit wobbly so I am going to sew around uh, a second time just for additional stability um, and when I do that I tend to go into some nearby stitches but ones that aren't the ones that I already did before so for example I might pick this one and then maybe this one down here and just go in like that and I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around um, and I'll show you what it looks like when I've sewn around a second time. So I've sewn around again and now you can see that the head is a lot less floppy than it was before so I'm happy with this I'm just going to leave it at that. So I'm just going to um, feed this yarn tail through to somewhere at the back of the head and now I'm just going to snip it because we don't need that anymore. Cool. so now we've got our head and our body um, joined together so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to crochet the arms so uh, we're going to start off by using white yarn so grab your white yarn I've already made one of the arms this is what it's going to look like just to show you so to start off with you're going to take your white and you're going to do four single crochets in a magic circle the end of round one round two you're going to do single crochet increase in the next stitch and then the same thing again single crochet increase so now you've got six single crochets at the end of round two. Then for round three, you're going to do two single crochet. Increase. And then again, two single crochet. And then an increase, but um on your last single crochet of the round you're going to change to gray and i am just going to use the standard method this time because what you can do is when you sew down the arms you can make sure that the color change is facing the body so that you don't actually end up seeing that um at all so i'm just gonna do the standard color change method 
So now we are using our grey yarn instead um, and all we're going to do is for rounds four to ten, so seven rounds, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round ten um, where we will uh, slightly stuff the arm and then we're going to um, slip stitch closed and then sew the arms to the body. So I got to the end of round 10 and I added a very, very small amount of stuffing. You could even leave these unstuffed, but I just like to add a very um, little amount. Um, and then all you're going to do is you're just going to slip stitch across to close. So that's going to be four slip stitches. I'll try not to get the stuffing mixed up in my slip stitches. So one two, three, and four, and that's it. So now you're just going to cut your yarn leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. And when you've got your two arms, then we're just going to sew those to the body. So I've got my body and head here and I've got um, one of my arms and all I'm going to do is just whip stitch this across to sew down to the side. So just make sure that where you've done your colour change, which should be kind of obvious, um, that that bit is facing the body so that you can hide that bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just literally going to um, go across and do some uh, whip stitches. fell out of my yarn needle but you get the idea I'm just going to do that across and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the other arm and I'll show you when I finish that and then we can move on to making the ears so this is what it's looking like now that the arms are sewn down so let's move on to making the ears which we're going to start with white yarn again so I've already made one of the ears again so just showing you this is what it's going to look like when it's done so to start off with you're going to want to do six single crochets in a magic circle in your white colour Then for round two, you're just going to increase all the way around and that's going to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of round two. Then for round three, you're just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. Then for round four, you're going to do a single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round.
and then when you're doing your final single crochet of round four just make sure that you um, pull through in grey because we're changing colour again Um, and yeah, we're just going to be doing the normal um, colour change method here because uh, we can do the same trick when we're sewing down the ears. Just make sure that the colour change part is facing the head so that you don't actually have to see that um, at all. So, OK, so now we've changed to our grey colour. So I'm just going to talk you through the remaining few rounds because they're not particularly complicated. So for round five, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. Um, for round six, you're going to do eight single crochet increase, eight single crochet increase. That's going to get you to 20 single crochets at the end of the round. Round seven to ten, so four rounds, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each of the 20 single crochets. Round 11, 8 single crochet decrease, 8 single crochet decrease to get you back down to 18 single crochets. Rounds 12 to 13, you're going to single crochet all the way around. And then round 14, you're going to do single crochet decrease and repeat that five more times to get you down to 12 single crochets at the end of round 14. So I will meet you at that point. So I finished round 14, this is what it's looking like, and I added just a little bit of stuffing, so definitely don't overstuff this, um, you can see like roughly how much stuffing I've added to this here, so I'd um, under egg it if anything, because um, it might look a bit weird if you overstuff the ears. So yeah, once you've done that, you're just going to want to turn your work um, and do a final six single crochets across like this, so don't close up the, the hole, just literally do six single crochets in the opposite direction so one two three four five and six and then that's it so then we're going to cut our yarn leaving a tail for sewing as always and now that we have our two ears we're going to um, sew these down to the head and just one thing to point out to you, you're going to want to sew them down so that those six single crochets that you did um, last are um, facing outwards so you can actually see those towards you and that's going to also um, mean that where you've done your colour change which should be roughly around here that's going to be hidden because that's going to be facing the head and you're not going to be able to see that so yeah just a tip for when you sew those down but I'm just going to um, give you a bit more guidance on that in a sec. So all I'm going to do is just sew those two ears down roughly like this. Um, you might want to pin them down potentially to help you and you probably want to have a picture of Esper um, open so that you can kind of use that as a reference for how to place these. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to do. And one other thing that I'm probably going to do is, as well as just whip stitching across the top here, I'm probably going to um, weave my yarn tail through to roughly like the middle of the ear and sew down a few stitches to make this um, more flat to the head rather than um, sticking out like this. Um, so yeah, I will show you once I've sewn those ears down. Just wanted to show you that I've sewn the ears down. This is what they look like. So now we're going to move on to making the little um, cheek fluffs. So there's going to be two either side. Um, so you're just going to have to make four of the exact same pattern. So I will show you how to do that in a sec. So I've already made three of these, as you can see here. So this is what they look like. Um, so yeah, they're just going to be quite quick and easy to make. So in your grey, you're just going to want to start off with three single crochets in a magic circle. Then you're going to want to do increase and then two single crochets for round two and that's going to get you to four single crochets at the end of the round. Then for round three, you're going to do another increase to start with. And then you're going to do three single crochets and that'll get you to five single crochets at the end of the round. Then 
then for round four again you're going to start off by doing an increase and then you're going to do four single crochets so that'll be six single crochets at the end of the round then for round five you're going to do two increases and then you're going to do four single crochets and that'll get you to eight single crochets at the end of the round And then finally for round six, you're going to do four increases. And then you're going to do four single crochets, which will get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. And then once you're finished um, with round six, just simply cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing like that. So now we have our four cheek pieces and I'm going to show you how I'm going to sew them to the head. I've just pinned down the cheek pieces to give you a rough idea of where I'm going to sew them. So basically just two either side and um, one slightly below the other one slightly more um towards the center of the head you can just use a picture to guide you as well um if that helps but i'm just gonna um whip stitch them all the way around to sew it down um and yeah i will meet you when i finish that and then we're gonna need to make some more um sort of fluff pieces to go on the top of the head just wanted to show you what it looks like now that I've sewn down the cheek pieces. So this is what it's looking like. So now, as I mentioned, we're going to move on to make four additional pieces to go at the top here. Um, so, yeah, let's get started with that. So the first piece you're going to want to make, I call the big uh, head fluff piece. And this is just really a variation of what we already made for the cheek fluff. So I'm not going to show you um, me crocheting it again. I'm just going to talk you through the rounds. So basically for rounds one to five, you're going to want to do the exact same thing as what you did for the cheek fluff. So I'll just talk you through that again, just so that you know. So for round one, three single crochet in a magic circle. Round two, increase two single crochet. That'll get you to four single crochets at the end of the round. Round three, increase three single crochet to get you to five single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, increase four single crochet to get you to six single crochets at the end of the round. And then round five, two increases, four single crochets. And that'll get you to eight single crochets crochets at the end of the round and then all you're going to want to do differently is just for round six and seven you just single crochet all the way around in each of those eight single crochets and this is what you should end up with um so yep that's the first piece that you need to make and then i'm just going to talk you through the other three pieces which are slightly different to this one so they're going to look like this when they're done so they're going to just look a little bit smaller so i call these the little head fluffs um, and basically for these all you're going to want to do is uh, do the same as you did for the um, big uh, head fluff for rounds one to four so you should have six single crochets at the end of round four and then for round five you're just going to want to single crochet all the way around in each of those six single crochets and you're going to want to make three of these so meet me when you have made one of the big head fluffs and three of the little head fluffs and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to position those um, onto the head and sew those down so I've pinned down the head fluffs to show you how um, you need to kind of arrange them and basically all you need to do is you need to make sure that the big head fluff is uh, in the middle here between the two ears then you want to put two of the smaller ones uh, either side of that and then you want to put another small one uh, beneath it as well so this is what it should look like um, and again I'm just going to whip stitch all the way around to sew those down and I'll show you once I finish and then we just need to add the face details um, and then we'll be finished with the head and then we just need to do a few more details uh, for the body so I will um, meet you when you have sewn those down. I finished sewing down those um, head pieces so now you can see what that looks like. 
Um, so the final step, as I mentioned, for the um, head is just to add the eyes, the nose and the mouth detail. So to start off with, you're going to want to cut some pieces out of felt for the eyes. So I've already done mine because it's just circles. Um, and to be honest, I find it quite difficult to film myself cutting the felt. I always mess up. So I've just done that off camera. But um, as you can see, in fact, let me just zoom in a bit. Um... As you can see, it's literally just two big pink circles, two smaller purple circles, and then two very small white circles. So this is what the eyes should look like when you've cut them out. And then all you're going to want to do is position those in the middle of the head. So just uh, have a picture again of Esper open to guide you with where to position those. But something roughly like this is what we're after. Um, so yeah, about I'd say about a five single crochet gap between the two eyes probably, um, but just do whatever you think looks best. So if you just glue those down like that with your fabric glue, then I will meet you and I'll show you how I add the uh, nose and mouth details. So I've glued down the eyes and as you can see I've also added in the... Um, mouth and nose details so you just want to do little nose um kind of in line with the bottom of the eyes and in the middle of the two eyes and then you want to do a slightly longer mouth just underneath that um using your black embroidery thread so i didn't bother filming that because um that was quite straightforward to do so um now all we need to do is the final few pieces for the body so we're going to need to make two little um leg fluffs we're going to need to make two um, fluffs that go at the back here kind of sticking out like this we're going to need to make two fluffs that go just underneath the neck one here and one here and then there's also going to be a tail that we need to make um, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to make those and then I'm going to um, just talk you through how to make them because they're going to be uh, very straightforward, basically, again, variations of the cheek fluffs that you've already made up here. And then we'll just sew them together and then that will be uh, the end of this tutorial. So to start with, this is the tail. So I'm going to talk you through the uh, rounds that you need to do to make this. So for round one, three single crochet in a magic circle. Round two, increase two single crochet. That'll get you to four single crochets at the end of the round. Round three, increase then three single crochets to get you to five single crochets. Round four, increase four single crochets to get you to six single crochets. Round five, two increases, four single crochets to get you to eight single crochets. Round six, single crochet all the way around. Round seven, two increases, six single crochets to get you to ten single crochets. Round eight, single crochet all the way around. Round nine, two increases, eight single crochets to get you to twelve single crochets. And then round ten, single crochet all the way around in each of the twelve single crochets. Then just cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. So make the tail and then I'm going to uh, talk you through how to make um, the leg fluffs next. So these are the two leg fluffs, so yeah, you need to make two, one to go on either side. Um, and what you need to do for the leg fluffs is for rounds one to five, you just need to do exactly the same as what you did for the tail. So I'll have it on screen if you've forgotten um, what you did. And then for round six, you're just going to do two increases, six single crochets, and that will get you to ten single crochets at the end of round six. So pretty straightforward. Um, just make two of these and then I'm going to talk you through how to make the back fluff. So again, we want to make two back fluffs. So this is what they look like. And um, for rounds one to four, you're going to copy again exactly what you did for the tail. And again, I'll have it on screen if you've forgotten. And then for rounds five to six, you're just going to single crochet all the way around in each of the six single crochets. And that should get you these two back fluffs. So, uh, yep, should be quite quick again to make these. And then I'll show you how to make the final couple of pieces, which is the neck fluffs. So here are the two neck fluffs and these are the most straightforward out of all of the uh, pieces because you just need to literally do rounds one to three in exactly the same way as you did for the tail. So you'll end up with five single crochets at the end of round three. Um, so yeah, just make two of these and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to sew these down. Um, so what I'm going to do is, so these are the neck 
uh, fluff pieces. These are the back fluff pieces and these are the leg fluff pieces. I'm going to sew all of these down to start with because none of these require any stuffing. And then I'm going to finish off by sewing the tail because we do need to add a little bit of stuffing to that one. So, yep, I will uh, show you how I'm going to pin these to the body. So you're going to want to position the two neck fluffs um, in the middle of, well, I guess they're more chest fluffs really, but you're going to want to position them uh, in the middle of the two arms and then one underneath the other. So just like that. And then for the leg fluffs, they just need to be positioned just underneath where the arm finishes um, on either side of the leg. And then I will show you the uh, back fluff pieces. So you'll want to position the back fluffs just next to the arm, um, but obviously at the back this time. So you should hopefully just about be able to see a little bit of the fluff peeking out when you um, have this facing front ways. But um, yeah, I just added these in because that looks like um, some a detail that Esper has if you see the back of Esper. So um, yeah, those are those six pieces pinned down. So I'm just going to sew those down, no stuffing required. And then I'm finally going to show you how uh, to sew down the tail. I've now sewn down uh, both the neck fluff pieces, the leg fluff pieces, and then also these um, back fluff pieces up here. So the final step is just to sew down the tail. So I'm just going to place this um, just in the middle here. Um, and I will just show you when I've nearly finished sewing this down. So I'm just going to add a little bit of stuffing um, and then we'll finish sewing it down and then we'll be finished. So I've just got a few uh, stitches left to sew down but I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing at this point and to be honest I think actually even that's maybe too much so I'm just going to start off with a small amount and then uh, see if I need any more. Uh, to be honest I think I'm just happy with that amount so I'm just going to leave it like that. Just going to finish sewing those few stitches down and then I will show you the finished product. I just wanted to show you the finished Esper, so this is what it looks like. And then this is what it looks like from the back with the tail and the two little um, fluff pieces there. So yeah, I think it's pretty cute. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this tutorial and I shall see you in the next one. Bye guys!